Hey you guys, we're back with the brand new Hemi 541 right here in my dyno and time to make some noises. Hi guys, I'm Nick and welcome to my shop. You guys remember a few shows ago, we got a brand new Hemi engine that came into my shop. Unboxing a 541 Hemi, all new pieces. Well, here it is. We did a video of partial assembly and of course, everything my client has bought is brand new. Block, crank, rods, pistons, everything, cylinder heads, everything's brand new. Rockers, valve covers, oil pan, you name it. He bought everything brand new to go with fuel injection. But I recommended that we put this engine on the dyno so I could check the mechanicals. You know, let's check the rocker adjustment. Let's see if the cam works well. Let's see if we got no oil leaks or anything like that. So what I did is I installed a Mopar Performance single plane intake manifold and my Dominator carburetor. Why? I just want to make a few tests just to make sure that the mechanicals run good. Because what he has is mine, what he wants is a dual quad fuel injection, which I have right over here. This is his way of uh, running the Hemi, the 541, all brand new. He's got a dual quad fuel injection set up here that he wants to do. It's part of an elder block kit that he bought. But you know what? Putting this on, putting it on, and getting run the dyno, you know, we might have some issues with the fuel injection or a laptop or whatever. But to have my head clear, I just wanted to run it with a simple four bow, which is my idea. I just want to make sure you got oil pressure, rockers are good, we make some decent horsepower, and of course, see if everything goes well. Then if everything goes well, then we remove the four barrel, and then go with this fuel injection setup. So if you guys want to see what we're going to do with this, we're going to see. Then is this one going to perform better? We don't know. But this is only for a tryout, and then we're going to remove all the intake and carburetor, and then go with the fuel injection. How much horsepower and torque do you think this setup is going to produce? Leave a comment for Nick with your best guess. Okay, that's better. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Let's see where it runs. Like I said, this engine is going to end up in the car with a fuel injection, but right now, for my personal Reference, I just want to run it with a carburetor, make sure everything is good, oil pressure, leaks, and whatever. And then after that, we'll take it with the customer's way of EFI. But for right now, I just want to run it with a four barrel. And here we go.
want to start it at 3200 take it to 55 actually maybe i go to six grand no six grand would be enough yeah six grand why not yeah we're, we're gonna see what the peak power is that's right i don't know right, now, then we'll adjust it from there to be more consistent To 190 degrees. Don't forget, we had the engine running for at least 10, oh, 20 minutes. Doesn't matter. Really, still climbing. Wait a minute. Let me see. Wow, we're gonna have to go higher than that. Eight, six thousand. Yeah, because now you have a dominator. Yeah, like we that. have a dominator. Yeah. Wow. Good, good. Now the head's not really working. Look at the torque numbers, man. That's a good sign. What's your peak torque now? 4,600. Uh, 4,600. So we got the got for 3,300. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, 4,600. Be exact. It'd be perfect. 32 to 62 would be 3,000. 62. Yeah, yeah, we proof it. Yeah. yeah, put 62. And it's still climbing at 6,000, full of blood. Yeah, I know, I know. Put it 62. Okay, Where's your big torque? 4,300. 658, am I correct? Uh, 44. So you 44. Pick out, yeah, you could pick out around there. Wow. 6,000. Okay, so this put 62 would be perfect. Okay, we're at 30 degrees. It's a heat sink. Let's do it again, back to back, see what numbers are going to be. We're at 62 now. 62, yeah, yeah we're yeah. going at a higher. Yeah. Go to 62, I think it'll be that big. It's all doing good, the power, look at that. It's pretty good, eh? Yeah, it's all doing good, nice. 652. Those are elder block springs. Those are elder block heads, elder block springs, yeah. That's nice, that's nice. And these are the springs that came with the head. Yeah, with yeah. the head, yeah, they're okay. made for roller hydraulic camshaft. And like you said, it's a mild cam, not a crazy cam. He picked the cam, right? He picked the cam, yeah, yes, okay. the customer picked the cam. Okay. So let's go to 6,200. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna make another test. The only difference is we're gonna bring it at 6,200. You ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah, cooler too. Here we go. I forgot my timing light there. What? I forgot my timing light. Where? It's okay. uh, no. Yeah, I left it outside. Anyways, here we go. There you go. I told you to pick out 61. Yeah, 61, eh? 6,000, no. 648. 648. So yeah, right there, 6,000. 68, yeah. There you go. 62 to 62 is perfect. 657, 5,600 RPM. Oh. 657 horsepower wow. at 56. Yeah, 67. I don't know. I don't know what horsepower they're looking for. That's the cam they selected. They selected all the parts to this engine, fellow. Yeah. Our job is just to assemble it and put yeah, on the yeah. dyno. Yeah. And right now we're trying it with the carbon to see what the engine does before we go to the EFI. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it now, this heat sink or heat, heat soak. Soap. And the time is at 30 degrees. Maybe we should bring it up, advance it a little bit. You think so? We have 11.23 compression ratio on this engine with the aluminum elder block heads. I'm going to advance it a couple of degrees, make another test. I don't think it's going to pick up. Hey, you well, can turn. let's give it a shot. We're at 30 degrees. Here I'll we go. I'll try 28. 28? You think so? 28, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll back it up. 28. 28. Yeah, 28. Start her up. Okay, start her up. So we backed up the timing to 28 degrees. 
We backed it up two degrees, and we're gonna make another test back to back. Not 28, 28. We need the oxygen sensors anymore. Do we need them? No, I think not. No, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Hold it's on. It's 12.8, 12.9. So if it's good, we're gonna take them off because you're, you're building, you're taking current for nothing. Hold on. Let me just check the air fuel ratio. Oh, it's right on the money. Okay. All right. There's the air fuel ratio. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna take them off. Give me a minute. Now we pulled on a 650, 657 HP at 5600 RPM. But the torque numbers are big. Look at the torque numbers for 665 at 4500 RPM. Check that out. Okay, I'm gonna remove the O2 sensors. Air fuel ratio is perfect. Give me a few minutes. We don't need them any longer. We're gonna set it back with the EFI later on with its own system. But in the meantime, I don't need them anymore. We're gonna remove it, but these are pretty expensive and we use them so often they wear out. So for that reason now, we're gonna remove them and just do uh, more tests. Boy, it's hot. There you go. Now we just put our Plugs back in, we don't need them anymore. Okay, so we, we had removed the oxygen sensor, we don't need them any longer. We're not gonna play with any jetting, the air fuel ratio is perfect. So now we backed up the timing to 28 degrees, so let's make another test back to back. All right, I have an opinion input here. I see the camshaft here. Here. It's, it's made to pick out around 56, 57. This cam is made to make more torque. It's more like a street cam. That's why you have a lot of torque compared to horsepower, the cam. I see it right here. I see, it is picking I see, out. I see, I see, I see the uh, timing events on this thing. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's why you want a 28 degrees. Yeah, if this cam had a bit of more lobe separation, we would have been higher RPMs and make more horsepower and less torque. That's so it's, it's, it's not a radical cam. No, that's why it's a street cam. That's why you're making a lot of torque. Here that's a street cam, so. And he's got good Viking for the Yeah, auto. yeah, because this cam is set up for torque. Torque. Instead of horsepower, yeah. But he's got good torque, man. He's got yeah. 665 foot pounds of torque at 4,500. Yeah, it's pretty close. Even okay, that was, that was a 30. The horsepower is close, 368, almost even. It's almost 650. Yeah, yeah 657. so that means if he shifts, he's gonna have a lot of power still pulling on him. And it still it holds after like 5,600 PM. So you know what? Yeah, now we got it at 28, let's see what it does. Yeah, go ahead. George, hit the fan. It is a 540 cubic inch. And that dominator works good, eh? Yeah. That dominator ah, works that's what you need. All right, here we go. 28 degrees, here we go. Pressure is good, all pressure is good. Here we go. Same number, 650, 665 foot pounds of torque. Doesn't we like that lost time, a little yeah? bit of horsepower. We have to advance it, eh? Yeah, we lost our horsepower. Yeah. It's at 650. How about the torque? It's higher, right? Eh? Yeah. 665. 655, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So oh, well. So we're gonna advance it at 32. The torque is six. No, the torque. The torque is 665. So it's up there. And the torque didn't change anything. Same no, thing. Okay. At 4,500 okay, so RPM, we have 665 foot-pounds of torque. So we're gonna make 32 now? And then save it. Yeah, now I'm gonna advance the timing. <laughs> no, I, I don't need a timer light. I know my marks right now. Let me know when to start it. Okay. Wait up, Philip. No, I don't need to start it, Philip. Okay. I know where 32 is. I have it marked. There he is. Don't worry, it's already marked. Okay. 
Let's go. So we're it. going to go ahead and make another test of 32 degrees. And this is a locked in distributor. We got 32 degrees. And of course, let's try it again. Do we need to go to 6,200 RPM? No, huh? No, let's stay where you are now. It's okay. Don't move. Don't. You want to see how it's holding the power? It's holding it very well, too. Okay, let's go. Well, you're there. Now. Don't change anything. After when you we do a fuel injection, then you can cut it down. With the fan on. Did you see any oil leaks in the back? I didn't look. I didn't look. Let me take a look. I want to make sure the rear seal is not leaking. No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. No leak. Here. Let me just pass a rag to make sure. I'm not a rag. I don't think so. Here. Looks pretty good. So far, so good. All right. Let's do it again. Okay, we'll do some testing, so we're waiting for you anyways, okay? Okay, bye. That's Richard. He's coming out. Okay. That's the... Uh, the man who's restoring the car. Yeah, okay. Good. Let's go. He's doing the car, right? Yeah, he's the one putting the car together. Okay. Here we go. No, you know what? I'll back up the distributor and then I'll put it to 32 after. Just start it for me, okay? okay? Give me a second. To see this at 900 RPMs uh, from the back. Yeah, I'll bring it down after right yeah, now. Yeah, uh, to try the back. We want to your... see how how, long, how high it can go down. Wow, 660, 670. 670. Yeah. 670. Wow. Yeah. Wow, 5600 again. Yeah, more torque too. At 60. Yeah, even. Oh, look at that torque. 668. Oh, those things are working good. That camera. 668 foot pounds oh, of torque at 4500. Good good yeah, yeah, these are good numbers, man. Yeah, it holds yeah. the power too. Look at it. It, it is. Bad, it's I know. And these okay. shifts. These shifts. Yeah, look at that. Pulling when they shift. He's gonna need some. Yeah, big... when he changed gears, it's soft power, man. Oh, he's yeah. in the power band. It's, it's a good street. It's a good street engine. Good street hand engine. And this is a street car. It's not made yeah. for racing. Let's say I can idle at 900. Could I idle 900? After. Let me. Uh, yeah. Let me just see the graph now. That's crazy numbers, man. It's a mild cam too. It's, it's, it's good. Thing I told you to put the big carburetor on, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good thing. Yeah. And there's the graph right here. Hydraulic roller cam. Oh, hydraulic roller. Hydraulic roller. Yeah, I think it helps flat that. Bro. Hydraulic roller. Oh, it's even better. And these are the springs that are Tim the Hedge for yeah, hydraulic yeah, roller. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. The only thing we got is the push rods. We yeah, have to custom yeah. make uh, yeah, the push yeah, rods. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to advance the time with two more degrees. We'll take it from there. You want to? But okay. you, I have to start it at back yep. up and then I'll bring yeah, it yeah, down. I hear, I hear Let you. me mark it. Do we have gas? Yeah, yeah, we just bought this morning. George brought us some fuel. Okay. We're going to advance the timing another two degrees. We got a locked in distributor that gives me a hard time when it's advanced at 30, 32 degrees. I have a hard time cranking it over with this old distributor in this box that I got. But we're just going to back it up to 20 degrees, start it, then I'll bring it to the timing I need. So that is the reason why I have to back it up. As you can see, when it's at 30 or 32 degrees, trying to crank it, it won't turn over. It's having a hard, hard time. So I back it up to 20 degrees, crank it, start it, then I advance it to what I want it, I let it run, and we'll do our testing. Because with the fuel injection, it's got its own distributor, everything's been programmed with the laptop. But just, this is only temporarily, this is the distributor I have right now, that's what I'm using, just to check the mechanicals, and that's all I need to know. So, 
Let me just back it up. I'm gonna bring it to 34 now. Okay, Philip, start it. Thirty-five degrees on this. Here we go. But the oil pressure drops a couple of pounds, eh? Seventy-three. Ah, oh, anyways, let's go. Here we go. Thirty-two is the matching number. Uh, yeah, the matching yeah, six. Bring it back. Thirty-two. That's Thirty-two, it. eh? Yeah. Let me see. Let me take a look. Yeah, no, no. Okay, we lost a few horsepower, a few torque. There it is. Right. We're gonna go back to where we were. Thirty-two is the matching number. Okay, so we maxed out the uh, power with the carburetor. We got some good numbers, pretty good torque, pretty good horsepower. And of course, I'm gonna put it back at 32 degrees. So right now, I just got a call from the client that he's coming in. He wants to see a couple of tests with my carburetor because he wants to go to the EFI because he wants to fine tune it with his fuel injection. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show him what a four barrel carburetor can do. So if you guys stay tuned, we're gonna wait for him, come in later on and make a few tests with him and then we'll take it from there. While we wait for Hisha, the man who's putting the car together for the brand new Hemi's owner, Allow us to take this opportunity to ask you to please subscribe to Nick's Garage. Subscribing is free and it really helps the channel. And speaking of helping the channel, why not drop a comment for Nick? Or if you want to go that extra mile, pick up some merch at Nick's Garage Gear or consider becoming a patron of the channel on Patreon. Thanks. And now back to the dyno. All right. Welcome back. Okay, so Richard just came in. He's the man who's in charge of the whole project, the restoration, the Hemi, and everything. So he's here now. He wants to see how this is gonna run on a carburetor before he sets it up with a fuel injection. As we all said earlier, we're gonna work with this, and this is what the customer wants. Am I correct, Richard? Yeah, that's it. That's what he wants, yeah. So Richard's here with us. Now he just wants to see, base mark, what this engine could do with a carburetor. And of course, we wanna check the mechanicals. We wanna hear the, if there's any lifter noises, we want to see the oil pressure. We want to make sure the rear seal does not leak. And of course, Richard, whatever you want to see, you take it from here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So let's get it started. Thank you. And Richard, you are going with headers on the engine, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. To me, yeah. putting headers on that would be easy. No, no, I know 541. Yeah, Come QA, on. QA1 suspension, without headers, you just throw them all. But like I tell a lot of people, it's historic what I like, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. George, put the fan on, please. Take a picture of my customer. Take your time, take your time. Picture. You can do whatever you wish, okay? I want you to check for a rear oil leak also. Yeah. Check everything, okay? Going up to 6,500. see, so far so good. 6,500? Sorry? Going to 6,500? No, I'm gonna to go to 62. Yeah. But you won't need to. This is a good engine. Yeah. And it's a mild cam. Is that a big cam? Yeah, no, this it's a mild cam, cam yeah. My brother looked at it. My brother's a cam guy. Yeah. This is good for torque. This is a street cam. Yeah. This is good from one corner to the other. Yeah. Okay, watch. Here we go.
out in there. Some smoke came out. Give me a minute, let me hey. check. Couch. You gotta put yeah. it tight, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is what we got so far. This is the torque numbers, yeah. and this is uh, their uh, horsepower. Okay. We played with the timing from 28 to 36. Yeah, Best okay. timing yeah. is that 32. Okay. I set it at 32 and made a few tests. Yeah. Now, unless you want to do something on your own, I could do whatever you wish. Yeah. You want to run a cooler, you want to play with timing. Air fuel ratio is 12, no, 9, 13. Know doing. That's good. So there's your numbers. I'm going to give you a printout. There's your torque numbers right here. 660, 665 of 4,500 RPM. Yeah, that's good. That's a crazy torque number. Yeah. <laughs> then your horsepower comes in at, uh, I made another test earlier. See, back to back. This is the test we made just before you came. Yeah. 670. 670? Yeah, and the torque was 668. Okay. If you want to make another test back to back, I just yeah. want to make sure it doesn't smoke, okay? Yeah, okay. I didn't smoke before, but I, I just tightened the cap. That was good. Sounds good, eh? Yeah, oh, yeah. I want to do one more test. I want to make sure the rear seal don't leak. And I want to make sure there's no oil coming out of there. Yeah. So, uh, Richard, let me ask you. So, you selected all the parts on this engine? But there's a guy at the speed shop. I know he suggests this and that, but so that's, oh. what, that's what he had in stock. So, uh, the, the motor, the block, the uh, candy block. And the, I think they're all great pieces. It's a good yeah. choice. You one with yeah. the uh, other block aluminum heads. Yeah. And that's one of my favorites, the block there. Yeah. Four and a half inch bore, brand new block. And of course, a uh, roller hydraulic cam, which is a nice, simple one. And yeah. you know, you might not even have enough vacuum for power brakes. Yeah. You might have enough. It's a border. But I'm putting right? a manual brakes in anyway. Oh, you're putting manual brakes? Yeah. So we don't have to worry about yeah. that. So, so it's a nice recipe. It's pretty good. Yeah. I just can't wait to see it with the fuel injection. No, oh, yeah, me either. <laughs> and how much CFM is the fuel injection? All right. How much CFM? 2000. 2000. Yeah. Wow, did you hear that? 2000 CFM on the dual quad throttle bodies. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just make another test so Richard can see it. I want to make sure there's no release whatsoever. And let's keep going. You ready, Richard? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Here we go. I it now and I didn't tighten it now, but it's good. Now I just want to hear for noises. I want yeah. to make sure there's no leaks before I turn it off. Yeah. And there's your numbers right here. Take still a at 670? Yeah, 667. See, it's yeah. good, conservative. Close enough. And the torque numbers are almost six, 668. Yeah. So we're back there, the same numbers. Yeah. I want to take a visual look before I turn it off. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> there you go, Richard. I was, waiting a, I was waiting a long time to put this on a dyno. I know you saw the project still going on. Yeah. And not only that, he's got another future project coming in in the future, a 440 yeah. six-pack EFI. That's another project we're looking forward to in the future, am I correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So he's got a client with two cars, two special jobs. Same customer, yeah. Well, you got a lot of work on your lap. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. 
Hey, Richard, I want to thank you for coming by today. Yeah, sure. I just wanted to show you before uh, we go into fuel injection. Yeah. So now we're going to talk touch base, how we're going to set it up with the fuel injection. Yeah. The engine will not be removed. There's no rush. Yeah. We're going to slowly get it together. With your fuel pump, so everything works the way it is after when you stall it in the car. Yeah. So I want to thank you for coming by. Thanks. All good? Yeah, good. Thank Perfect. you, sir. Thank you, Richard. Thanks for watching. It's here on Mix Garage. And you guys, if you look down below the video, we have a whole bunch of merchandise that you guys can buy. So whatever you like, buy it, love it, wear it, and enjoy it. And help spread the word of Mix Garage. And if you have some time, check out our Patreon page. We have extra content, and you guys can watch it and take it from there. And we'll see you next time.